Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla here and I wanna thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As y'all can see, we are finally dedicating this video to making over our patio space, which is right outside of the sunroom. This space has been neglected for quite some time and it is in need of a full transformation. I can't wait to share with you guys our plans for it in a little bit. But first, I just wanted to show you guys what we are working with. We are literally going to be creating this patio from scratch today. So if you'd like to see this process, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so this video is sponsored by David's Bridal and y'all, they have sent me some little white dresses to try on with you guys. I am super duper excited. I will be wearing one of these dresses at my rehearsal dinner, so I need y'all's help. Comment down below which one is your favorite because I can't wear them all as much as I'd want to. So let's go ahead and get started with dress number one. Hey y'all, so this is dress number one and I am totally feeling it. Like this ruffle detail is so fun. And then check out the back with that cute little cutout detail. I feel like that is so fun and flirty. So here we have just number one. It is actually pretty comfortable. There just be so much going on, so I do need something that allows me to move and like allows me to get a little breeze. So I really think this is a cute option. Okay guys, this is dress number two. Get into it. So it is quite cute i love it like this little i guess it's like it's not really lace but this little like the appliques on it and like this white pattern on top is gorgeous like i really like that and i love how it's just like fitting me in perfectly right here i feel really cinched which is nice <laughs> let me get a little closer so y'all can see the details on it Yeah, I think this one is super duper cute, you guys. Okay, you guys, this is dress number three. I will be honest and admit, when I took this out of the bag, I was like, no, it's not giving wedding rehearsal vibes. This is giving the more like, okay, we're going to church vibe. But now that I have it on, I love it. You guys, look how cute this dress is. It cinches in my waist right here, which is great. And then check out that back. I feel like the back is super pretty. So the main reason I picked out this dress was because I really like the little details like right here along the neckline. And they're also along the back too, which is super duper cutesy. But it's very, very flowy, which is nice. And overall, I just think it's a super cute dress. All right, y'all, this is dress number four. Check her out, hey, hey. Super cute. One thing I love about this dress is the sleeves. However, I do not think it will be the one for the rehearsal dinner. For this one, this is kind of screaming honeymoon vibes or bachelor red trip vibes. So this one is a little bit shorter <laughs> than I remember it being, but don't get me wrong, it's still super cute. And like I said, I'm obsessed with the sleeves on this dress. So super cute let me get a little closer the sheets are sleeves so i do think it'll be like very breezy i love like the scoop neck on the back and again the sleeves are my favorite part i'm i love a dramatic sleeve that is so me okay guys so this is our last dress dress number five and here's what it looks like it's definitely giving me sounds of music vibes very whimsy which i love like look at this so cute! Oh, and check out the back. You know, we love a nice back moment. Like, how precious! That is so cute. Um, and the sleeves are fun. I can clearly move and prance in this, so that's very nice. So yeah, I love like the neckline here. And again, it cinches me in on the waist. If you're wondering, I ordered a zero in all of these dresses. 
um, and they all fit really, really good, which is great. Thank you, Davis Vidal, for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love all of these little white dresses, and I can't wait for you guys to see which one I picked on my rehearsal dinner. But of course, comment down below and let me know which one y'all think, because right now I am torn between two dress number actually i love this one this one might just be it but there's another one that i'm thinking about so we'll just have to see <laughs> hey y'all so here i am outside on what is going to be our patio area and like our landing spot for our wedding guests so i want to show y'all basically what we're about to do um, so right here is going to be the area where we are going to put a lot of this gravel right here that we had got. If you watch my outdoor makeover, then you know I ordered like a whole bunch of it. I'm going to put most of it here and to create a beautiful patio, I want to have string lights coming out from over here, connecting to our fence that Marcus is going to build for us and a little grill table, all of that. So right now, right now, basically, we have begun digging out like the footings, I guess you want to say, basically where the wood is going to go. These are the wood pieces that we are using, these big hefty boards right here. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and begin making this patio from scratch. This is really Marcus's baby, so I'm going to try my best to explain everything to y'all. But if you guys want a full video on how to create a patio like this in your backyard, please let us know down in the comments and we can totally work on that for y'all. So first, you guys see Marcus digging deep into the ground to create the foundation for our patio. Our land back here is sloped, so he had to make sure he was digging at the appropriate level so the foundation would be straight and even on all sides. So now that he digged out the trench on that first side, he had to repeat the process on this other side right here to create an enclosed space. You guys probably also see him using like this paver stone and gravel and he's really just using that to make sure that the surface that the wood is going to be sitting on is like flat and all that good stuff instead of just having it sit on the bare dirt. To secure the wood into the ground, he's using metal stakes to make sure that the wood won't move. And also he's treating the wood once he cuts it to increase the longevity of his design. So now that the land is all leveled out, the wood is all cut, now it's just kind of the easy part, connecting the dots and putting all the pieces together on this side. Caleb, huh? come on up. Oh, wow, babe, I didn't know 
it was gonna be like that. Wow, it looks really good. It looks really good. So this is how high it's going to be. This is insane. Like what? Y'all, this is all Marcus's vision. Like, I honestly didn't know what it was gonna look like. I just told him what I kind of wanted and he made all this happen. Like, I didn't think he was doing this. This is amazing. Like, honestly. <laughs> wow, it's so high. It looks like you're building a whole deck out here. We might as well go ahead and just make this a whole deck. Like, <laughs> I love it. So this side is gonna match this side. Basically. Yeah, so I only need I got two other ones over there So do I make the cuts on those and put these down in there? That'll be it And then I just got a front fill and back fill I guess I don't know if you call it. Oh the my front. goodness Marcus, this looks fantastic Cool, I'm glad you like it Tell the people how you feel about it I'm glad you like it I've been struggling out here for hours and hours Like money long <laughs> get, especially the base part trying to get it level and straight and stuff mm -hmm. i wish i had a uh, like a leveler like a landscape a big level. one yeah no uh, this looks perfect stuff, using that little tool that you had you were able to do all of this it's pretty good the wood is perfect not all perfectly straight and clean and all but that's fine yeah it so now you guys are going to see Marcus repeat those same steps over on this side and bring the wood up to the same level. Also, y'all can see right now the metal stakes that I was talking about earlier. Um, those are what he's using to secure the wood into the ground to make sure that like it's super strong and super secure. So even if you were to sit on it or stand on it or walk on it or whatever, oh, like no. it's not budging. Okay, okay. It looks so good, baby. Wow, it looks so good. You did a great job. <laughs> Come on, I want you to see. Now, remember I told you these two ain't gonna match up? Yeah. So, are we still gonna do the post and put the lights and string to the post? Yeah. Like, um, can you hold this? Uh-huh. So y'all, this is what he's talking about right here. Like, this part is not the same. But it looks so good. Uh huh. <laughs> we can leave it alone, or I got two other options. So this is what the poster thing is. I was thinking of like a four by four. Okay. And just put it up, here. but this is gonna be taller, like a four eight foot four by four. Nah, I really don't like that. You don't like a four by four before you can hang the lights to it? Where are we gonna hang the lights to then? I saw another idea on Pinterest where you get a flower pot, you fill it with cement and a different type of metal pole, and then you hang it that way. Oh. But but this could be an option too, but I just cause that piece is so big and wonky. I don't know about that. Uh, either one of these are perfect. Uh huh. This is kind of the same thing. It's just a little too wide, so I just have to put a hunky on it. It's short about less wide. Okay, and to fill in that the, gap. This would be the thing. thing. Yeah, and I, I like that. Get the four inch one. Yeah. This one is thicker. Is it like the two by four? Yeah. It's a little taller. And it's not flush, but it's closer to It's it. super duper close. Yeah, let's just go with that one. Which, what is that one? That one right there. Because it's already cut to the perfect size. and. But it's not pressure treated. So I wouldn't put this up here. I was oh, still, okay. I don't know. I don't think we got a scrap piece of pressure treated two by four by eight. But I would need two of these too. Okay, this looks so good. We have a deck, y'all. A whole patio. Woo! Woo! Good job, baby. All right, y'all. So at this point, Marcus was just about done with creating the frame for our patio. Um, currently, he was backfilling the patio, and then he's going to begin drilling in that final piece of wood that we need to make sure that everything's super duper level. And one other cool thing that he did was to angle off the final piece of wood so that there's not like a blunt cut to make sure that it's super safe for literally anybody and everybody. And you guys will see him sand that off in a moment too, just to make sure that it's super smooth.
All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, the patio, let me back up a little bit. The patio is like all put together right here. So we are now about to fill this baby in and up. We have all this gravel right here that we are going to be using. So we are going to plop all of that into here. You guys saw Marcus like lime wash this side of the house um, over here. And we're probably gonna have to move all this wood and stuff. And once we get the gravel in here, I will share with you guys my plans for this area. hard work right there okay but as y'all can see we cleared off like all the wood and stuff that we had over here and also we leveled out like this area a whole lot more i also sprayed for weeds and stuff we got rid of the weeds that were like existing so now y'all we're about to put down this landscaping fabric which is basically a weed control film and this will just help make sure that no weeds come up. But like I said, we're putting a... This should be really, really easy, really simple to put down. We used it before. But y'all, we're gonna be getting a new door because that one is super duper busted. And what I wanna do is get one that mirrors the laundry room window. So it'll be almost like a French door. And then I also kinda want to paint the silver parts of the windows black. Y'all comment down below what y'all think about that because them silver right now, it's not giving. And because the lime wash is so bright, it's making like this part look super dingy. So um, I'm thinking that will be the best idea. But once we get this down, we'll see if it'll even be necessary. And then y'all already know, once we get the new door, I'm going to paint it a special color. I can't wait to share with, <laughs> with y'all that. But um, for now, let's go ahead and get this down, get the gravel in, and then we'll talk more about future plans.
All right, y'all, so that's what it's looking like now. We got all the weed barrier down, so now we're about to fill this baby up with gravel. Here we go. So y'all, this is the huge bed of gravel that we've had at the house for almost close to a year now. If you watch my exterior makeover, where we read it at the front of the house. Um, we use this to make a walkway. So now we're using what's remaining to go into our little patio area that we're creating. I did get a coat on concrete. Y'all know that's why we didn't do a concrete walkway in the front, just because it's super duper expensive. We even thought about doing concrete ourselves and we may tackle that down the line, possibly. Okay, y'all, we are done for the night. Okay. Okay. Your girl keeps getting hurt out here, but this is what it's looking like so far. It looks really good. Um, we still have a lot to fill in, though. It's almost as if we didn't, like, make a dent. So. Ooh, but, yeah, this is hard work. Okay. Hard work, so we'll be back tomorrow. Okay guys, so this is as far as we've gotten with the patio. We're just gonna need a little bit more time because like I mentioned, moving the rocks, the gravel all the way over here is a lot. Let me move y'all real quick. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, moving like the gravel and stuff, you guys, it's a lot of hard work. So we're just gonna need a little bit more time to get that done. I wanted to share with you guys like our final plans that we have for this space. Cause I don't think I fully mentioned it. So I know I told you guys about painting the window frames black, so they really stand out. So what I'm talking about are like these silver parts right here painting those black I feel like that'll really help it stand out a bit more and then of course we're gonna be getting a new door to go here the window will stay the same and then over here like right here y'all I want to build a shelf and put all like my potted plants on there like nothing but potted plants and a few gardening tools and I want all the plants to be in like really pretty terracotta planters and I want the shelves here to match like the same color as the wood that we use because we're pretty much going to leave this the natural color and the same thing when we get our fence it's just going to be natural so it's all going to match so I want the wood shelves here to kind of match as well and I don't know if they're going to be like this one probably from about here to here is how wide the shelves will be and I can fit like three to four plants on each one I just feel like that's going to be so pretty to have like my herbs 
Um, and then like a whole bunch of little flowers. I did mention to you guys, we do have a patio set. So I'm thinking the patio set can maybe go like right here in this space closer to the door. And then the grill will go like right here. Marcus was talking about building something here. I guess for the grill to sit on. I'm not really sure. Oh y'all, another thing. Marcus cut the grass yesterday. Just this front portion. Um, and it looks absolutely amazing. There's some like clumpy stuff here. I feel like I need to get that up. I don't want it to kill the grass. Oh yeah, like all this I probably should like rake out because it might just die <laughs> on top of our fresh grass. So I might look for big clumps like this. Like that's just a lot. <laughs> and I see some more down there. So I might spend some time just like picking up clumps of grass today. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like, you guys. It looks so pretty. So we didn't um, cut like all the way back there where we're having the ceremony because it's not quite as full yet, but soon we will. But yeah, y'all, this is just another view of our little patio that we created. It looks a little cray right now, but it, I hope y'all can see, I hope y'all can see the vision. <laughs> and of course, we're gonna have some like string lights coming out from here, from that little piece of the roof, all the way to this corner some string lights there so I think it's gonna be really pretty and so for the wedding we're thinking that on the table we'll have people like put cards and gifts here because like for example this is the view that you have um, so we're gonna put a fence up along this line and it's gonna like reach over to the house so it'll be a big fence here but the day of the wedding the gates will be open and then when you walk in, all of this will be gone. It'll be pretty grass right here. And then the cards and gifts table here. And then as people come in, you know, they'll see the tent. And then back there, they'll see like the water station and all that stuff. Our shed is gonna go over there. And then the outhouse there. Whew, it's, it's a lot, but we are gonna make it happen. So anyway guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. I realized we didn't get like a whole, whole, whole bunch done, but we got the foundation done. So now it's just a lot of manual labor and then we can begin the fun part, which is the decorating. So make sure you guys stay tuned for part two of our DIY patio makeover, literally all from scratch. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.